Right, so these are the games that I've been playing recently. So, yet again, I am playing Gran Turismo 2 on the PlayStation. The uh, driving in this game, it's quite a bit more difficult than how it is in the first Gran Turismo, because in this game, if you make any sudden steering movements or like sudden braking or sudden acceleration, especially if you go in around corners, it's way easier to spin out of control. I think they've made the game like that because it's meant to be more realistic, maybe. Um, in, Gran in the first Gran Turismo, it's, uh, it's nowhere near as bad as that, so driving in this game is quite a lot more of a challenge. You've just got to be, you've just got to be a lot more gentle with the braking, acceleration and, uh, and steering. But yeah, pretty good game. Then we have Jet Ski Riders for the PS2. I'm not really that keen on this, to be honest. It's, it's a racing game where you, uh, you race on jet skis, obviously, and how can I explain this? It's like, when, you kind of, when you're racing in the game, everything kind of feels very chopper, like the camera kind of seems jumper, and I'm guessing that's because, you know, you're, you're going along waves, but it's just kind of, it's just something that I don't like, you know, I really don't like that. And then, if you go by one of the boys on the wrong side, you'll slow right down to a stop, it's like a penalty, which I find really annoying as well. So, overall, I just don't really find the game to be that fun, to be honest. Next up is WRC2 Extreme on the PlayStation 2, so I'm playing this yet again. Uh, this time, I'm trying to win rallies on professional difficulty to unlock uh, secret codes. So, I've actually made, like, like, notes about it, so I know which rallies I still need to win. So, you can see with some of them... You know, where I've come first, I've unlocked like a code word, and it, like in Finland, for example, I came second in that one. I unlocked a bonus world. I'm not really sure what the bonus worlds are. And you can see like Australian, Britain, and other countries, I've not unlocked anything yet. So it's just to let me know which rallies I still need to come like first or second in to unlock stuff. Um, yeah, and you can see I've already got a couple of secret codes there that I've unlocked. I could find them online, but it's, I find it more fun doing it this way. It's you know it's you know it's more enjoyable and more satisfying to unlock a secret code because of doing well enough at the game rather than just kind of finding everything online. So yeah, very very good game. It's creaky, it's clunky, it's slow paced. It's World War Two tank battles by Midas. That company that we all know and love for making excellent quality games, and by the way, I'm lying, Midas makes some pretty crappy games. This game, it's like it was made on a really, really cheap budget. It's not what you would call a quality game at all, but I do find it fairly fun, to be honest. I think a lot of people think this game is absolute crap, and I can understand that. It's very slow paced. It's uh, very clunky, which is to be expected if you're driving around in World War II tanks. And that's basically what the game is. You just do missions in your tank. You've got several different tanks that you can choose from. You can like earn points from winning battles. And so you can kind of like upgrade your tank, make it faster, give it better armor, make the, the ammo more effective. You can choose, you can buy different types of ammo as well in the game. and. Uh, yeah, the majority of the game just consists of you blowing up other tanks. There is a bit more to the game than that. You know, there's kind of other things that you can blow up and just kind of different things that you do. But it is mainly just you going around blowing up other tanks. And, you know, it's, it's a fairly fun game. The graphics aren't anything to write home about. And there is some pretty bad slowdown sometimes when there's a lot of stuff going on going on, on the screen. It can be so bad that it almost looks like a stop motion video. <laughs> like that's how bad the frame rate goes. But you know, I find it to be a fairly fun game. So maybe once I've finished this game, I'm not sure if I will definitely keep it. Maybe I will put it onto eBay. I'm not sure if I'll ever want to play it again or not. But you know, it's uh, it's fairly fun. WWF Smackdown just bring it on the PlayStation 2. Been having a lot of fun with this, even just creating a character has been a lot of fun. There's just so many different options to choose from. So you can just spend absolutely ages creating a character. And 
you know, there's just so much to the game, all the different types of matches you can do, all the different wrestlers you can choose from, all the different moves each wrestler has. You know, it's it's going to be really difficult remembering all the different button combinations for different moves and stuff. I'm mainly just playing this on two player, just on my own at the moment, so I can practice and get used to the different button combinations and, and, and what does and what does what. But yeah, it's a, a really good game. And I'm pretty sure this is, this is the first WWF game on the PlayStation 2. I've got quite a few more of these for the PlayStation 2, so I'm actually going to play these in order of when the games came out, because it'll be interesting to see how things evolve. But yeah, really, really good game. Just a lot of fun beating up other wrestlers. You know, you can you can play as all the cool wrestlers back in the, the Attitude Era or Ruthless Aggression Era, like Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Undertaker, Kurt Angle, Triple H, The Rock. You know, there's just so many cool wrestlers back in the Attitude Era and the Golden Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era. And a lot of those awesome wrestlers from the Attitude Era you've obviously got in this game. So you can play as them and you can fight them. And it's just a lot of fun. I love, I love using weapons. You can have all different types of matches like cage matches, uh, table matches, ladder matches, you name it. There's just so, so many different options in this game. You know, just so much variety. It's a really, really good game. And then lastly, we have Grand Theft Auto 5. So I'm playing this once again on the PlayStation 3. I've still not finished the main mission yet. Um, not really sure how far I am through the game. Maybe just about a quarter of the way or something. Um, I just mainly, you know, whenever I play this, I just mainly like to just mess about in the game. Massive sandbox game. It's a really, really well made game, in my opinion. Uh, Rockstar has made billions from this game. Came out in 2013, and I think Grand Theft Auto V might still be the top selling game now. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so these are all of the games I've been playing recently. and. A lot of them I'm still currently playing. We have Gran Turismo 2 on the PS1, Jet Ski Riders on the PlayStation 2, which I'm going to put onto eBay. Just yeah, I just don't really find it to be that fun at all. WRC 2 Extreme, amazing rally game. World War 2 tank battles. You know, it's kind of it's cheap, it's kind of corny, but I'm having some fun with it. WWF Smackdown, just bring it. Absolutely awesome. Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS3. Absolutely awesome as well. Thanks for watching.